Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have my March favorites for you and I also just wanted to do an update first. Um, been kind of busy, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, it really doesn't have anything to do if I'm busy or not, I still try and get them uploaded even no matter what I'm doing, but my computer broke. I have a very bad habit of drinking coffee over my computer in the morning and I spilled it so my keyboard's not working, like a S, E, 1, 2, like a bunch of keys on the left hand side of the keyboard aren't working so I haven't been able to upload a video. So I apologize for any lapse in videos but that is the reason why. And that's pretty much it. I did get my wedding dress which is exciting. I picked that out. I don't have any pictures. They didn't let me take pictures in the place. I guess they're like afraid that if you take a picture of the dress, you could go to another dressmaker and then they would make the dress for cheaper. I don't know. So, got my dress and, you know, the computer got fixed, obviously. So, that's kind of what's been going on. But now we can go ahead and get into my March favorites. The first thing is the blush combo. I love playing around with blushes and constantly changing it up. Sometimes I'm into, like, peaches and pork corals. Um, sometimes I'm into really bright pinks and sometimes like in the winter I liked wearing like purple with some bronzy shades on my eyes so now I'm into this shell pearl from the Liberty of London collection which is a beauty powder and a beauty powder is a blush it's just very buildable it's a little different consistency than the um, regular powder blushes from MAC they're just very nice, soft, and buildable. I really like them. But I've been doing the Shell Pearl with the Shell Cream Base from MAC, which looks like this. So this underneath, this on top is what I'm wearing now. And I think it just makes a really pretty blush combination. So that has been what I've been doing on my cheek. Another thing from MAC that I'm really loving is the Skin Refine Zone. It came out with that tabloid beauty collection. And it's a product meant to reduce the size of your pores. I put this on after my moisturizer, just right here, right here, through the bridge of my nose and around here. And it just kind of sucks the oil out of your pores, which makes them look smaller. But it's not too drying. I find I have dry skin, and if I use products that decrease oil, I'll break out because it makes my skin too dry. But this is nice. It kind of just leaves like a nice velvet finish. And I've noticed a difference in my pore size. Uh, maybe just because I want to notice a difference, but um, I actually think that there is a noticeable difference from using this product. Why I sell things I've been loving is the Golden Gloss in number 19. It's just a really creamy pink color and it came out with the spring collection. I may have talked about it last month, but this has been in my purse nonstop. Next thing that I've been loving from YSL is a mascara. And it's the Mascara A Volume Effect Faux Sills in Noir Radical. And it's their blackest black. And you can always get this type, the Faux Sills, anytime it's in their permanent line. But this color, this Noir Radical, is limited edition. And it's really pretty. It is very, very dark. And it is kind of a pain to get off. But it is a really nice mascara. I think it's worth the extra effort at the end of the day and trying to get it off because it just gives such good results and makes your lashes look so dark and they, it lengthens really well and I also think that it gives volume so I really like this mascara. And the next thing from YSL and the last thing would be the Touche Eclat. It looks like this. It's meant to be used as a concealer underneath your eyes but I actually like to use it around my lips just to kind of create a sharp line. I used it today. I think it works better than like using a white eyeliner or I've even tried like a naked eyeliner pencil. This is just more natural. It holds up well. It has light reflecting properties. So if you apply it right here on your cupid's bow, it's really going to make your pout look My next favorite is the OPI Nail Lacquer in Rosy Future. It came out, I think it was called the Pinkables or Pink Collection. It came out around Valentine's Day, I don't know. And it's this pink color and it's got a blue sheen to it. I can wear this to work and I'm pretty picky about not wearing too much of crazy things to work. And I think it's also good outside of work because it's got that blue sheen so it's like a little different. So I really love this Rosy Future from OPI. Next thing is just a little drugstore item but it's really useful. These are these Face Secrets Professional Double Ended Cotton Applicators. And they're the ones that look like this. So they have like this nice pointed end and then they have like this paddle end and these are great for cleaning up, especially this paddle end. 
cleaning up any fallout, any mascara lines. You've got the little pointy one. It's just really good for cleaning up anything around the eye area. And the cotton on here is harder, so you get a nice, like, stiffer kind of eraser with this. So I'm really liking these, and I got them at Sally's Beauty Supply. Next thing is kind of weird. It's a candle from Bath and Body Works. And it is the Moonlit Magic. It looks like this. It's a really pretty candle. I like the purple color. And it's just a really good scent. It's kind of got a little bit of a berry undertone, but it's kind of musky. I don't know. I think it's pretty for spring. And I just love this scent. And actually, someone gave me as a gift in my family the um, lotion and the body wash and the spray. And usually, I really don't like Bath & Body Works body stuff. I kind of just like their candles. But I used it because it was a gift, and so I used it, and I really like it. And Jason said I smell like frosted flakes, but I don't get that at all. I think it has kind of like a berry scent to it. But I really like it, and I'm loving the candle. I like this for my spring scent. Just a few lush items. Um, the first would be my ocean salt, and I know I've mentioned this in favorites before, but... I have started using it to exfoliate my face, which is something I never used to do with this product because it leaves behind that oily residue, but it is a really great exfoliator. The salt and everything, it just really gets in there and exfoliates. And I use my hands to like wash my face and stuff while I'm in the shower, so this works really well just using your hands. You still get a very nice buff and exfoliation from it. I just make sure to wash my face with Cetaphil, my normal face wash afterwards because of the residue it leaves behind but it still leaves my skin very soft so I've been liking this ocean salt to exfoliate my face and I used to use it for like my hands and feet and body and things kind of scared to use it for my face but um, I've come around and I really like it for that. The next thing from Lush is an Easter item. Their Easter stuff came out this month and I got two of these bath bombs. They're the little bunny bath bombs and they smell like Honey I Wash the Kids but to me it has more of that like kind of floral feminine scent that you get from Honey I Wash the Kids and like the chocolatey food scent. It's just more of like a springtime Honey I Wash the Kids or fresher. I don't know. It smells different to me. And I think Lush's products do take different scents and different forms. But um, I really like this. And after using the Street Party bath bomb, I'm glad to have a bath bomb that's just like plain in my tub with no stuff coming out of it. <laughs> so I've really been liking this. So that's it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have my February favorites for you and I'm just going to be talking about the products that I've been using the most during the month of February. It's March. It's March. Hmm. <laughs> And the next thing would be the YSL Full Sills. No. The next thing from YSL that I've been loving is a mascara, and it's the Volume Effect Full Sills. The next thing that I've been loving from YSL is a mascara, and you're on your bow. and it is the Moonlit, no, 